Hello everyone and welcome back to Arctic Retro. Uh, today I have another mail and uh, donations video for you. So in this uh, episode I have uh, something special and uh, something small. <laughs> it's a little for everyone. As you can see I'm in the middle of some Amiga 2000 power supply restoration uh, right now and uh, I thought it'd be good to uh, just uh, get uh, some of the unboxing and donation stuff out for uh, March. And in this video you get to see uh, the things I have uh, received since the last video and uh, there's a few interesting items. There's uh, a Spectra video computer and uh, also some other stuff I received and uh, some smaller things, uh, the packages from China. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll enjoy this video. Another little package from China and it says uh, gift commercial sample <laughs> printed it's ticked for printed don't know what it is ah this is um, a usb to serial module so uh, yeah if i want to connect uh, some electronics from a test board or something uh, or to program uh, something with a USB and then I can use this. So I bought this uh, on Wish and it was only like 3 euros including shipping from China. Not really sure if I'm gonna use it but uh, <laughs> for that price I found that I needed it. <laughs> this package uh, comes from um, the United States and uh, it says on the description compact flash adapter and uh, postage was $15 so let's take a look and this was sent to me from a guy I, I got uh, contact with uh, via one of my patrons actually and uh, what is it let's take a look there you go this is actually a compact flash adapter and this can be used uh, with the texas instruments uh, ti-99 looks fairly uh, advanced uh, and it actually came with a 8 gigabyte uh, flash card compact flash and this is actually called uh, the nano peb and the peb stands for um, peripherals uh, extensions box which uh, was a big uh, box um, extension box that you could connect to uh, the ti-99 uh, back in the day I'm not able to test this right now because um, I don't have a working TI-99 but I have one that is uh, due for servicing and testing uh, later in another video and this will come to use then. So I really don't know much about this um, adapter other than uh, it's fairly advanced and as you can see it's a Silink chip. Uh, probably FPGA then and it also got a Winbond uh, EEPROM chip so um, yeah probably some code that runs on that one too so this one in fact emulates uh, up to three floppy drives and uh, yeah serial ports and comes with some uh, uh, basic extensions as well but uh, I'll get uh, more into detail about that when I actually gonna use this in a later videos. So. Here's a couple of items that uh, came from uh, the UK and uh, I know what this is. It's uh, for uh, my ZX Spectrum. So let's take a look. It 
yeah there it is it is uh, a ram upgrade uh, because i have a set of spectrum with only 16k ram i want to upgrade it to 48k and it also comes with the fitting instructions that's really nice and even some uh, <laughs> solder <laughs> and here's the receipt i ordered a one ram upgrade kit and also uh, the necessary logic ic's that you need in order for this ram upgrade kit to work i got it from retro Liam, and the total was 22 uh, pounds and the next item is uh, this envelope it says please do not bend and uh, yeah, it's related, it's uh, for the Spectrum as well, because uh, yeah, the keyboard is a little bit uh, bad, so I just uh, ordered the new uh, keyboard membrane. Looks good. And this one came from Syntec, United Kingdom. One Sinclair ZX Spectrum uh, replacement keyboard membrane made in 2019. Total price with shipping, $15.99 uh, British pounds. All right, look at this. It's a big box, uh, Central Norway. And uh, this is something I recently purchased on uh, fin.no, uh, which is a Norwegian variant of eBay, maybe. <laughs> So oh, let's see. Oh, I think we're close to the item. All right. There it is, a couple of uh, old magazines and uh, yeah, a boxed uh, Spectra video SV328 MK2 and the box looks uh, good, there's a few scratches but that's uh, normal of course and uh, yeah, looks good. I uh, have never had a Spectra video before. So this is going to be great fun for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to pay a good uh, uh, 200 euros for this. But uh, it was actually listed uh, at first for uh, 300 euros. So I, uh, so I did a little bit of negotiations with the seller and we came out with uh, 2000 nook or around 200 euros and it comes with a manual there it is okay looks very nice I have hooked up the power supply and uh, connected the uh, RF uh, out and uh, to my TV, tuned to channel 36, so let's see if it's working. It should be working, but you never know with these uh, old machines. All right, yeah. <laughs> There's some kind of image at least. Pretty poor. So let's see if I can uh, fine tune it a little bit. Yeah, that looks uh, much better, but uh, still a crappy image. <laughs> All right, it is uh, working. Auto.
Auto line numbers, that's great. All right, my first uh, program ever on a Spectra video. <laughs> All right, a great machine. Uh, I'm gonna feature this in a later video, so I'm not gonna spoil anything uh, now. So I'm just uh, grateful that it's uh, working and for now it's gonna go to my uh, shelf. Here is a little package from uh, England, UK, delivered by Royal Mail and uh, it's declared as a floppy drive adapter. <laughs> then it probably is a floppy drive adapter. So there it is. Floppy drive adapter times two. But what kind of floppy drive adapter is it? Well, let's open one of them. There it is. So this is in fact a floppy drive adapter for uh, Amstrad, um, which makes it possible to use um, a GoTek drive like this. And then with the jumpers you can select whether you are emulating the drive A or B on the Amstrad. And then you need of course another cable that goes from uh, this adapter onto the Amstrad, which you can use like this edge connector, 34 pin edge connector, but uh, not all are used. So this will come in handy when I want to play some games or something on my Amstrad machines. And uh, the price, let's take a look. The price is uh, for uh, a quantity of two. I paid uh, $33.98 plus postage and packing uh, £40. So, well, not cheap exactly, but uh, I guess it's okay. Next up is a few uh, donations and uh, these are of a little bit uh, larger size. And uh, this is the first donation. Uh, out of three in a row and uh, <laughs> yeah these are power supplies ATX power supply this is a large one and this is a little bit smaller one this larger one it's a uh, 200 watts yeah it's uh, just a regular old uh, ATX power supply I I guess I haven't really checked it out. It has a, <laughs> a power switch. And uh, the second one here is a smaller one. It's, uh, it provides uh, different voltages. Plus 12 volt, 10 amps. Plus 5 volt, 1.5 amps. Minus 5, minus 12. All right, so both of these uh, will come in handy when I uh, eventually need a power supply. I don't have any plans for them just now. Then we have this big box. It's a sewing machine. <laughs> no, it's not. It is, in fact, a computer. And it is a compact. And this is in fact something called a uh, sniffer uh, by Network General and uh, <laughs> well I don't know much about it uh, I just googled a little bit and um, it uh, is uh, some kind of a network analyzing tool uh, used back in the day in the 80s and it could um, yeah it sniffs <laughs> packets uh, on the local network and uh, analyzes all the network traffic and uh, eventually shows uh, an uh, overview of uh, yeah the whole network I think <laughs> but I guess that in uh, reality it is a PC uh, compatible computer I guess and uh, 
on the side it has a floppy drive and seems to have some release catches on both sides. I don't think... Maybe you can lift off the whole thing, I'm not sure. It thinks... I think it's... Uh, I think it is loose. Um, all right, so you can you can tilt it. <laughs> That's the the thing with this. You can tilt it. On the back side there are ports, regular PC stuff, and on this side there is some um, network ports, and this is uh, some adapter for a regular uh, LAN network cable. This seem to be the old style of uh, network connection, coax. And there's a lock, so you can <laughs> lock this thing. So I want to power this on and see what it actually does. The sewing machine. <laughs> All right. Fans spinning up. <laughs> Eight megabytes of RAM. And it has a hard drive. <laughs> so it is actually a compact machine inside. <laughs> so let's see. Ethernet to analyzer or monitor. Let's select the first one. Loading the Ethernet sniffer. Well, I haven't connected any network, so I guess it's uh, not functioning, but uh, let's select demo uh, Ethernet monitor. All right, so uh, I'm not interested in that uh, network uh, stuff, but uh, we have a DOS. So uh, that means uh, we can play with this machine. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah, it's really fun. That's something special. So I got this from a good friend and a colleague at work. And this was uh, really nice, really appreciated. What I'm going to do with it uh, for now, I don't know. I will put it uh, on my shelf and we'll see later. Maybe it will show up in some future project. We'll see. The next item is this one. It's uh, obviously a PC bag in uh, leather. And this one was also donated by my colleague uh, Gerane. And uh, yeah, it says uh, Ultra Spark driven and uh, <laughs> I don't know much about this machine, but uh, it is in fact a nature tech uh, laptop that uh, runs on uh, an UltraSpark 2 processor, um, I think. And UltraSpark is a CPU that was developed by Sun Microsystems back in the day, and this was really powerful at that time. As you can see, it looks very nice. It, uh, yeah, very clean and uh, no damages or anything. So this is a great donation. Thanks a lot. So I'm not really sure about the exact uh, name and specification for this machine, uh, other than it uh, runs uh, Sun Solaris operating system. And, uh, yeah, also in the bag is uh, a mouse and a power supply. So let's try and uh, hook it up. Uh, obviously the battery is uh, uh, drained a long time ago. So I'm gonna connect it uh, to power and see if it uh, comes to life. Yeah, it lights at least. It has two uh, network ports and uh, Backside has even two USB ports. Uh, I guess this is VG, there's VGA, serial port, and a firewire. And this is maybe for an external keyboard. 
sound or mic microphone. So the owner of this machine, uh, or the previous owner of this machine, uh, told me that uh, when he got it, it actually costed uh, 140,000 nook, which is uh, around 14,000 euros, or maybe 16,000 dollars. So this was a really expensive uh, <laughs> toy back then. Uh, let's turn it on and see what happens. It powers on. Well, it didn't come uh, much farther than this. Uh, it uh, did post with uh, three beeps, but uh, let me try again. Maybe it actually needs a bit of charge on the battery to um, power up. Let's see now with the external monitor. Nope, seems to be dead. All right, that's a bummer, but uh, then maybe it's fixable. Maybe that's uh, gonna be another project sometime later. Might be anything. Maybe there's a dreaded battery inside that uh, has leaked. You never know. And here's the mouse that came with it. Sun Microsystems. Next up is this uh, little package. Uh, well, not that little actually, but uh, this one was sent from Per Christian and he is actually another retro computer collector and tinkerer like me. And uh, what he has sent me is uh, some PC related stuff. Um, and I actually bought a few items from him. And also I have uh, taken a little assignment from him. Uh, he sent me a couple of uh, things that I'm going to take a look at and uh, maybe try to fix. I think he has made a good job uh, with the packaging. Uh, here's the stuff. Lots of uh, old PC related uh, stuff. Expansions cards. Um, I can't go through everything here, but um, yeah, there's a couple of uh, CPUs that I bought and uh, 80 or 80x power supply, a lot of uh, necessary cables and inside here a couple of uh, motherboards. So what else is in here? Uh, RAM chips, floppies. Here's one of the motherboards he sent me. Old stuff. Here's another motherboard. I'm gonna go through this uh, later with four RAM modules inside. It's a 486DX33 CPU. Another motherboard with a 486SX with the uh, SIMRAM modules inside. So here's a lot of things to uh, <laughs> investigate. So I haven't really done much uh, PC related stuff uh, lately, uh, not in uh, some years. Floppy drive. I'm not really sure what all of this is. Uh, he has written uh, about everything to me, so I, I have it written down. This is a hard drive, 130 megabytes, IDE. So that was a big package, uh, lots of uh, stuff. I have to uh, go through it later, but uh, for now it's gonna be stored away a little while until it's uh, time arrives that I'm gonna use my time on this. <laughs> Another China package which I don't know what is, so let's just cut it open. Ooh, HDMI video capture. Yeah, I ordered this one. It costs almost nothing, but uh, 
probably just uh, crap quality, but uh, I'm gonna test it. So you need to put this into a computer and then you can uh, capture uh, HDMI signal. And of course a minimal <laughs> amount of uh, documentation. So I guess it just turns up as a capture device in Windows or anything. Here's the English user manual. <laughs> this package also came from uh, China and uh, it says uh, gift and that's a little bit uh, deceiving because uh, I paid for it <laughs> on eBay. So let's see what's inside. Okay, this is actually a bunch of uh, ribbon cable connectors and uh, a couple of meters of uh, ribbon cable or flat cable so with this I can uh, make my own uh, connectors I think this is uh, 34 pins this is uh, 8 or 10 pins and these are uh, 6 pins all right, good to have in stock. This one is a little, uh, or a little, a bigger package I got uh, from uh, something I bought uh, here in Norway on a Finn Eno. It's not the Weiss, even though the picture is uh, our Weiss. There it is. These are uh, power supplies and uh, these are the kinds you use for uh, uh, PCs. So these are just the standard uh, AT or ATX, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's the old type uh, power supply, uh, compatible with uh, PCs and uh, it's not a very uh, large ones this is uh, 250 watts and this i think is uh, only 200 watts yeah i just bought these because uh, i haven't been doing a lot of pc related stuff uh, on this channel and i was thinking maybe uh, i'm gonna do some older pc stuff and uh, then i needed these and they were quite cheap as well all right, that was it for this month's um, packages and mail and uh, yeah donations. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to say thanks for everyone that's uh, watching and uh, a special thanks to my Patreons for the support. Please comment and uh, press the, the like and the subscribe button if you want to see more. It really helps uh, the channel and uh, I will appreciate it. So. Uh, that's it for this time, thanks, bye bye!